Uh, what else we got here? I've been playing that new Call of Duty game that came out this year. Last year, I guess, at this point. Mm-hmm. Yes. I've heard that's okay. November. It's really good, that single player. I don't know why it got such lousy reviews, but, you know, whatever. I don't either. It It's fantastic. It's Yeah. Did you finish? It's their it's second best single player ever, right? Might be my my favorite one. I, I Right now, I think I give the edge to Titanfall 2 slightly. But no, I'm again, talking about we're... Call of Duty. Huh? I'm talking about oh, Call you of mean Duty. Just, as, as just far overall. As... I thought you meant of last year. No, no. I'm just talking about the Call of Duty series in general. Like this, this is either this is number two. I would say on the campaign. What's number one? Uh, Black Ops. Oh, okay, sure. Um, yeah. I mean, it's it's really it's really good. I, it's very unique with the setting in basically outer space. The ship to ship combat stuff is really well done piloting those ships and the dogfighting is really intuitive. It works really well. Uh, I think it's probably a misstep to not have multiplayer dogfighting. I think you brought that up, GP, maybe? Mm. At some point? Mm. I don't know. It would be mm. something cool for them to have. I don't believe it's there, unless I'm just missing no. it. And uh, But the new weapons are really cool. Like all they the are. different, you know... Huh? They are. They are. They're very. They're the homing grenades and stuff, or whatever. Yeah, or just you know, just the different ways to like a gun with more than one sight configuration mm-hmm. at the push of a uh, the D pad. Yeah, is a really cool idea that you know, like, oh, this is a you want a submachine gun and a shotgun, and you also want your assault rifle, but you can only carry two weapons. Well, this gun is both. <laughs> it's a submachine gun. Then you push the button, and now it's a shotgun. Like, okay, cool. I'll take that one with me. So, no, it's cool. It's got a lot, a lot of cool stuff going on. I like the little side mission thing with the map. So, yeah, I'm probably very close to the end. I've done all the side missions, which it's short. You know, yeah, if you, you know, when you get certain achievements now on the Xbox, because I know you guys don't didn't play this game on the Xbox. When you get certain achievements, we if played you get it on one, the home of Call of Duty. <laughs> the new home of Call of Duty. Where, well, yeah, where Call of Duty me. lives, where, where it goes home after a long day's work. <laughs> <laughs> when you get certain achievements that not a lot of people have gotten, like on the planet, it you, it shows up with a little diamond and it plays a little chime oh. to show that you got a rare achievement. Oh. And I did all of the little side missions. I got the little chime. Six nice. percent of people. Six wow. percent of people have done those side missions, and I'm surprised. I'm like, this is it. Just surprised me. Well, that, a lot of people you know, don't touch the the story. Yeah, I know, and I think that's probably why the reviews are so bad. I'm like, they made a really good single player. They made a really good single player game, and I know that there are, there seem to be a lot of issues with the multiplayer. But and it's so interesting how much that's hurt the perspective of this game. But I guess not because it's Call of Duty, and that's what it's all about. Yeah, well, and people want, didn't like the the microtransactions. Stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of microtransactions Virtual currency in the multiplayer. Stuff. Yeah, same thing. Even in zombie mode, I think they added it, which is sort of weird. I played a little of the single player. Of that it's a cute idea. The single player. Did you uh, try the zombie mode at all? Either one of you? I'm going to. I played, I played split screen. Yeah, I like the little movie that they show before it. Ooh, the I cartoon. Could, I could play that with Ty. Maybe is that appropriate or no? Uh, I Very. actually let, I let Sabrina like see, like check it out like one round Yeah, and I asked her if she wanted to play it with me and she goes, no, that's gross. And right. that was the end of yeah. that conversation. That's going to give Ty nightmares. I'm going to pass on that. Yeah. It, sure. it's, it, I knew it wouldn't be enough to give Sabrina nightmares, but it was definitely enough for her to be like, no, that's gross. So mm. there goes that. Uh, I'll stick with lovers in a dangerous space. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That is, that's a fun one. Holy shit. Oh, that's a fun one. It's going to be free next month. So, if you're looking for a good co-op game to play with your kids or loved one, yep, Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time is actually amazing for that. Not as good as Overcooked, but it's still good. And I don't have that game though, so I can't. Uh, really? Mm-hmm. Why don't you buy the the Super Pack? It comes with everything now. Now's your chance. I don't know. It's so good. It's so good. You can yell at your family. Oh man, our family was doing some good yelling the other night. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I was like, I thought for a moment that I should record it, um, but then I decided against it. But it was it was quality. <laughs> there was there was a yelling. <laughs> that game is fun. 
one day I will have people who are skilled at it and we will play together and all will be right in the world. Um, I've been playing the remaster, the Call of Duty Modern Warfare remaster because a CAG sent it to me. Uh, I don't know if he wants me to say his name, so I won't. Or maybe I'll say it next week. But anyway, it's yeah, yes. it's awesome. Is it good? It's so good. And then because I got the the remaster pack, the whole thing, oh good, which I bought, which I paid for with my own money. Nice. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know <laughs> what that's like. I'm sorry. I just, it just rains <laughs> games on me left and right. Uh, it's cool. it looks. I mean, it uses the same engine as the Infinite Warfare, so they it looks. So good, and you know, really, it does. It looks good. I'm like, it I looks have perfect. It downloaded it, yeah. all 78 gigabytes of uh hard drive space to download that game. I'm gonna play it, and you know, I'm playing on the pro, so I'm getting those pro. Yes, I'm sure, it looks a little better for you than it will for me. I mean, I, it doesn't, I, I would say that it's not. I mean, I thought that the, the Infinite Warfare single player was stunning looking, like, I was constantly trying to get Mrs. Cheapy to look at it and get her to be interested in it. Because I just said wow so many times. This is not quite at that level, but it is fun to go back and play the old game and have it look pretty awesome. You know, it's funny. Uh, Elliot likes to sit on the couch and watch my ship, the spaceship, take off from the hangar. Well, what game? Just, oh, yeah, that it, Call of Duty. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. It, <laughs> yeah. It just blows his mind every time. Well, you know, he, they, just, he asks, can I watch the spaceship take <laughs> off? I'm like, sure. You know, it would really blow his mind. The VR version. They have the free, you know, I m- think mini at game. five years old, he might be too young for that. They say 12 and up, 12 and up or over 12, actually. Yeah, he is not. He is not over 12. I know, but it's probably okay for like a minute. But <laughs> you, you basically, you launch the ship, you know in vr it's pretty it's pretty i'm sure i'm sure it's very cool yeah i'm never playing it again 